Hi, my name is Kendall. Hi, my name is Carly. Today we're going to be telling you why God is our superpower. God is my superpower because he forgives me when I do stuff wrong. And he is my strength and my joy. God is my superpower because he's always there when times that we are sad or down or we need somebody to lean on. Why is God my superpower? God is all powerful. God is all knowing. God is mer mer merciful and mighty. He is a great God and He gives me strength to conquer my obstacles. He is my superpower because he gave me life because he gave his only son for my sins. He has cleansed me and made me whole. He is my superpower. God is my superhero because God will always be there for you, no matter what you face. And God will always answer your prayers what you pray to him. And God will always believe in you, no matter what. And most important, you should never give up on God. God will always be there for you. He will always believe in you. And you should, too, always believe in him. God's my superhero because he protects me from all hurt, harm, and danger in this coronavirus. He gives me a healthy family and a good family who raised me right. God is my superpower because when I'm in bad situations, he tells me not to do it. And when I'm in situations, he tells me what to do during it. A conqueror is somebody who faces their fears. Thank you. Hi, my name is Corinne, and I'll be talking about why I think, why I say God is my superpower. I say this because he gives me a lot of strength and power to overcome things that I feel like I'm not able to do, but he shows me that I am able to do it just by just having faith in myself and um, keeping my head up high. And I just really appreciate that. And he's always by my side whenever I need him. I just have to call on him. And it's, I'm just really grateful that he can just help me have a smile on my face when times are go when times are rough. Um, for example, right now, he's help he's helped me just stay positive and have a big smile on my face and just get through whatever we're going through. And that's why I say he is my superpower. God is a superpower because he does everything good. He helps us whenever we're weak. He helps us do good in our test. And he helps everyone. He gives people second chances. He's helping people during the coronavirus. Also because he can do anything. He created the heavens and the earth, the fishes. He created food. He helps farmers grow food. He does all of that. Okay, so when I think of the word conqueror, just the general definition, I think of someone who faces adversity, trials, tribulations, and yet they're still able to overcome them. Now, I would say a godly conqueror can be sort of different because you see the outside world from a spiritual lens and you know that you have God with you. So your tactics to combat things that come against you are different. So how it says in the scripture, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That just essentially means that you know that things are going to occur that trials are going to come but through it all you know that you're going to still hold on and fight through it because you know who you serve and you know that he will get you through it like he's gotten you through everything that you face so yes that's what i think a conqueror in christ is what it means for me to be a conqueror is to be strong confident and resilient now when i'm talking about strong 
I don't mean you have to be physically strong. I mean that you have to be mentally and emotionally strong. Because once you know how to be that strong, you can conquer any day. When you are resilient, it means you can come back from a bad situation. And then when you're confident, it means you know you have the abilities to take anything on. Like you are that sure of yourself. And only God can give you all three of those things. So that's what it means for me to be a conqueror. Hi, I'm Tamason, and being a conqueror to me means accepting your everyday challenges and courageously scaling through them. Being a conqueror means to me that I can conquer everything that life throws at me with God on my side. It's me, Ruben. I wanted to answer the uh, question of Pascatrice. What she asked us was, what does a godly conqueror mean to us? And to me, I feel like it's like a a brave soul or man or woman that um always is that's always brave and always always have full confidence in himself because God gave him because God gave us that that godly braveness so that way we don't have to be fearful or be afraid of what comes our way or be afraid of what's out there in the world like if there's a challenge or if there's something going on in the world that god is always right next to us is always like always being there for us and never being afraid you know just having like no thought just going out there and knowing that god has you all the time 24 7. that's what i think i consider myself more like conquer because i use the word of god and all his blessings in order to achieve what i want and after i achieve those goals i help other people um, I help other people through his um, word in order to help them achieve their goals as well. And that makes me more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror because when I go through something hard, I use Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13 states, I can do all things to crush your students me. This helps me get through hard situations. Today's passage is from Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 39. And it reads, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, Neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So basically what this passage is telling us is that we're all conquerors. And honestly, it's telling us that we are more than conquerors. Conquerors is usually defined as people who overcome a problem or a hardship. So basically that means someone who just gets over anything rough in their life. And as Christians, you know, we all go through our ups and downs. We go through valleys and we have mountains. But we know since we are followers of God and Christians that no matter how many times we are see find ourselves in a valley, that things will be okay and that we will overcome those things. God gives us so much love and is always there for us that we know that whether or not we want to believe that everything's going to be okay, it is going to be okay because God already has the plan set out for us. Another thing we have to remember is that God gave Jesus so that we could be successful. Jesus died on the cross for us so that we could have a chance to start over and for, have God forgive all our sins and just honestly live by the word now. And since we have, we're given this chance, we know that God is honestly on our side. He gave his only son for us because that's how important we, are as, we as Christians are to God. So that means before you ever get nervous about a situation or you're about to go through a hardship and you're not sure what's going to come of it, 
you should already be thankful and grateful and know that it's going to work out because God has made us conquerors. One of the verses read, verse 36 reads, as it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Really what this means is that since we're Christians, there's always going to be Satan who is working against us and he's always going to be trying to make things hard for us. And we just have to remember that no matter how hard Satan works against us, that God has created us to be conquerors. So no matter what he throws our way, we will get over it because we have to have confidence in God and what he knows to help us in this world. There's so many things going on today that we have to literally, this passage just helps so much. Like today with COVID-19, everybody's life was totally shaken up with all of these things. We didn't expect schools to get closed down, people lose their jobs, all of the things that have happened, but they have happened. But since we're all Christians and we have faith in God, we know that things aren't going to be too bad for us and that we will return to normalcy eventually and we will be okay because God is on our side and he's working with us so that we can make it through things. Another thing is when you're remembering that you're a conqueror, you have to think, am I going to conquer these things on my own or am I going to conquer these things with God? And you have to remember the answer is that you always conquer things with God. So no matter what you think is the way to get somewhere or the way things should be done, the ultimate way you're going to be successful or be a conqueror is by following God's plan. God's going to set you up to get over all the hardships in your life. But if you don't trust him or trust his plan or think that you know best, then it's just not going to work out because you don't know what God knows and you don't know what he has in store for you. Another thing is that passage also says we're considered as sheep to be slaughtered. A big thing that this is related to me now is with the Black Lives Matter movement. We've had so many things going on for us right now. We're so tired of police killing us and all those things. But this just relates back to how we're conquerors. We've had so many innocent black lives taken from us, but we still overcome this as a group. There are so many Christians that are praying, helping organize peaceful protests and using God's word to reach others and change their hearts. God has made us conquerors where we've been able to get money to pay for these people's funerals or even hold our own protest or even sign petitions to make for change because God knows that once again, this little problem we're going to get through. So no matter how hard that you think 2020 has been, people are already saying 2020 is canceled. 2020 is just not my year. I'm going to wait for 2021. Remember, it's only halfway done and we still have God on our side. So July through December, please be looking out for your blessing. Please be looking out for whatever he has in store for you. Because if you made it this far, then you don't know where God plans to take you for the rest of this year. So thank you guys. I really hope that meant a lot to you and touched your soul in some way. Hi, everyone. My name is Janice Bowling, and our scripture for Youth Week is Romans chapter 8, verse 31 through 39. Romans chapter 8, verse 31 through 39 is a very powerful scripture, especially when dealing with difficult times such as these. It reads from the contemporary English version, What can we say about all this? If God is on our side, can anyone be against us? God did not keep back his own son, but he gave him for us. If God did this, won't he freely give us everything else? If God says his chosen ones are acceptable to him, can anyone bring charges against them? Or can anyone condemn them? No, indeed. Christ died and was raised to life, and now he is at God's right side, speaking to him for us. Can anything separate us from the love of Christ? Can trouble, suffering, and hard times, or hunger and nakedness, or danger and death, it is exactly as the scriptures say. For you, we face death all day long. We are like sheep on their way to be butchered. In everything, we have won more than a victory because of Christ who loves us. I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not life or death, not angels or spirits, not the present or the future, and not powers above or powers below. Nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love for us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The scripture starts by saying that God stands with us. God is all powerful, so the fact that he stands with us means anything is possible. The scripture says that if God is for us, 
If God stands with us, who can be against us? He will care for us no matter what is going on in the world. Because we stand with God, he will make sure no evil will prosper against us. He has all the power. So nothing, not hunger, not danger, not hard times, can keep us from him and his love. This makes us more than conquerors. Because God is for us and will always keep us, no evil will succeed against us. God loves us so much that he did not even keep his own son from us. He willingly gave up his son for us so that we could join him. If he loves us enough to give up his own son, the ultimate sacrifice, why would he not willingly give us all other things? Why would he not give us victory over evil? Why would he not give us the ability to defeat any evil spirit that tries to come against us? God does give us all of these things. We are living in trying times, and oftentimes we hear or deal with so many negative things. Sometimes all there seems to be are negative things. This constant negativity can bring us down and make us feel as if the situation is hopeless. But it's not, because God is always with us. He will always love and be here for us. Because God is for us, and because we stand with God, we can conquer anything that crosses our path. We can defeat any hardship we are dealing with. In fact, the scripture says that we do more than conquer. Verse 37, in everything we have won more than a victory because of Christ who loves us. Through God, we win more than a victory. Through God, we do not merely survive. We do not merely continue to live or exist, but rather we thrive, we prosper, and we flourish. There are several things in our lives that can cause stress and hardship. The Bible states that we face hardships all the time. Verse 36, for you we face death all day long. We are like sheep on their way to be butchered. Maybe you're having issues with family or friends. Some of y'all work and may have stress from your job. While it is summer right now, when school begins again, there may be a time where you struggle with schoolwork or your busy schedule. And all of us know the hardship dealing with the fight for racial equality. Against all of these hardships, the Bible says that we will do more than conquer. God gives us all things to defeat any evil that tries to come against us. Nothing can separate us from God's love. And because of this, we will all thrive through Christ.